We've got a few gaps in our bamboo wall and I'd like to get them filled with the same type of bamboo that we've got planted already. So today I'm going to experiment with five variations of a propagation method that I've tested that's proven to be the best one so far. First I'll make a start by preparing the ground. Hi, I'm Kevin LJ. I'm a New Zealander living in Northern Thailand who loves to garden. Welcome to our Suen Sok Homestay YouTube channel. We've got wonderful tall bamboo planted down the side of our section. We put it on the ground about six years ago as we were building. Most of it's grown really well, but there's a few gaps in the wall and I'd like to get these filled in using the same variety of bamboo. So I'm propagating. I tried some last year. Some of it worked okay, some of it wasn't so successful. So this year I'm going to experiment some more to see if I can get these gaps filled in and get a nice complete wall of bamboo right down the side of our section. Last year I experimented with a few different versions of propagating bamboo. Some of them worked, some of them didn't work so well. This season I'm going to experiment with five different variations of the same type of propagation method. So I'll cut some bamboo cones that we've got growing here that are spreading out a little bit too much onto the driveway. One of them I'll cut is going to be a new shoot that's come up this year, so a brand new cone that is already sprouting some good branches. And I'll also cut an older one because I'm not sure what's going to give me the best results. Last year when I experimented I didn't plant enough, so I'm going to plant more. I've got an abundance to choose from so when I cut even one of these single cones they're about 20 meters tall so there's lots of opportunities to cut the nodes and plant them and see how we go. From what I've learned online I can try a few different variations so after I've cut the cones some of them I'm going to cut into longer sections because we've got a couple of bigger gaps in our bamboo wall that I'd like to fill and then others I'll cut just the single node and see if I can get those to sprout. I'll also soak some of them. I've got some here that I have cut a couple of days ago and I'm soaking already just in our, one of our drains on the section here. I got the idea from a video online that I watched that had no description with it at all. It was just video showing what these guys were doing with their bamboo, possibly in Indonesia or the Philippines, I'm not sure. But I'll give it a shot. They were soaking them and it said in the text that they soaked it for three days. So we'll give it a try and see if that works. And I'll also use a different technique that I saw also on a video where a hole had been cut in the internode area of the bamboo and it was filled with water before it was planted in the ground. So I'm going to try that as well. And this year I'm going to try a lot more. As I said last year I experimented but I didn't plant enough so it was really difficult to know how successful some of the methods were. But this one method I had planted a couple of single nodes in the ground and they sprouted and have kept growing slowly but surely. I've also learned that this can take a while, I've got to be patient. So during the first year of growth it's going to be slow but the following rainy seasons when the growth occurs most I should start to see some results. The single best method that I have used for spreading out my bamboo some more was planting from the rhizomes but the rhizomes of this bamboo it's like trying to cut into rock they are so hard. The success that I have had was when we had a backhoe come in and we got them to move some of the bamboo in an area that we were leveling up and filling in a pond. The backhoe just dug these pieces out, we'd, I'd cut them right off to the ground, he dug them out and then later I was able to cut through them but to be able to dig them out by hand and cut them by hand, I'm just not up for that. So I'm trying out some easier methods that I'll just have to be patient and wait until they really take hold. When we did move those rhizomes, the very next season they were sprouting up new combs and already they're probably 10 or 15 metres tall after a couple of years and they're doing very, very well, they're looking good and this rainy season they've even produced a whole lot more new cones. 
here is one of the areas where we've got a large gap and it's also one of the areas that I planted some in last year. You can see this one nice young bamboo shoot coming up there and then there's another smaller one just here that are looking pretty healthy but I want to give them some companionship so I'm going to dig further behind them, maybe in between them and plant some more and then here there's another larger gap. These are further towards the back of the section so they're not so vital but then closer up towards the house we've got a couple of other gaps there that I'm really looking to fill and I'll use some of the shorter pieces in those areas. This is a nice new comb that's come up this year you can tell because it's still got the powdery white on it and these uh, outer sheaths but it's coming further into the driveway than I'd like so this is going to be the one that we'll start with. So that's a nice start, it's a good solid piece with lots of new growth on it. Now I'll go and find one that's a little bit older and cut that. Now I've got these two columns cut, I'll start to trim them and prepare them and cut them into sections before putting them into the ground. I've got a couple of smaller individual pieces here that I'm going to put in the holes that I've dug up there but first I'll put this longer piece in this trench here and see if we can't get this gap nice and full of bamboo. This is another technique that I saw but didn't really have any explanation to go with it but they cut the internode like this making a cavity in it just using the hacksaw so I can keep it nice and clean and then fill the hole with water and place that cap back on it and put the whole piece in the ground so there we have it, the five different methods that I'm using with both new and old combs is to cut some with long sections, some with short sections, soaking some and leaving some dry and then cutting that into node and filling it with water and putting that in the ground to see if that works better. I'll keep good notes of what I've done and where I've planted each different piece so I can check back in the future to see which one has been the most successful. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it and if you've got any comments please leave them down below. I'd be interested to know if you're trying any of these techniques or any other ways of propagating bamboo yourselves. Cheers.